Yes, crazy, isn't it? Just like I said in one of my official letters addressed to the Biden-Harris administration at the White House on February 14th of this year, quote, your deep silence in the face of my distress and search for your assistance is a sign that you already knew the imminent outcome, the end of your journey as a vice president. You also appear to be willing to stick to the script instead of putting up a fight and consequently win. Even the best plans sometimes misfire. Vice President Kamala Harris, if you knew that I had a magic wand in my right hand, Mrs. Vice President, ready to summon powers to act in your favor on my command, would you not give me a chance to express myself and reveal to you how this trick would be performed? And then, in the last paragraph of my official letter, I ended by saying, quote, should you remain dismissive of my plea to meet with you and let your administration face the same fate, the former Trumpets, would you truly let the current regime be defeated in a cruel dual revenge play? And that's how I closed my official letter addressed to the Vice President Kamala Harris this year, February 14th, 2024. Because I heard some people said, Twitter tricks will not work at this time. Facebook has lost the public trust over the 2020 election. TikTok will not play along just because too many people are awake on this platform and are watching very closely. Forget about the mainstream media. That's why I wrote, even the best plan sometimes misfires, but they did not understand, but time will tell us. Now, here's the kicker. Because of that unexpected and unfortunate event that occurred on July 13th of this year, 2024, making Donald G. Trump dodging bullets, well, it affects first the whole timeline fabric and then Trump energy field polarity shifts from positive to negative but for a very good reason because this kind of polarity shift is only possible during a near-death experience or an out-of-body experience OBE because many people have already predicted this brave man's death and incarceration. I have to admit that he had a little grace or help from the great master or the great architect of the universe. Who else can do that if it's not Daniel J. Trump? He loves this country. He took a bullet in the name of love of his own country. What a brave man. Now, at this point, his energy and strength are perfectly aligned with the negative polarity of the universe, which will empower him, assist, and raise him above any difficulty or challenge, and consequently bring him to a well-deserved victory. This is like a David and Goliath from the Bible kind of scenario in which Daniel J. Trump 
plays the role of the small but almighty David braced his left arm with the head of intelligence, Elon Musk, to defy a giant machine which is the current administration along with the UN, the World Economic Forum, the World Health Organization, so and so, all combined working together against one sole man ascension to the Oval Office. But in the end, we see a strength, a determination of Donald J. Trump defying a bigger and more sophisticated opponent. And when this revelation happens, I expect to resume correspondence and deliver in person a lifetime divine message to Donald J. Trump at the White House. And only at that time, the name of the Vice President Kamala Harris will go down as the first female president candidate in the history of the USA. And then she will understand that only the universe has the power to overrule mankind's will. Ladies and gents, we have come to the end of my vision for 2024. 2025 have a whole new exciting chapter for us, for all of us. I'm Captain Genice from Osiris Revolution, New York City, and I said, one love. Men, Sarah, Incorporate, Sarah.